Hi everybody, this is Rachel with SDL Take Puffs, and uh, today I am going to hand paint some uh, baseballs and also some with the St. Louis Cardinals uh, logo onto some Take Puffs, which will be shipping to um, Alabama. Is that right? Yep, it, it's, go, uh, it's actually going to be flying with someone to Alabama. And uh, so we're just going to pan paint them, and I fig I like to do these live. I've also had some questions from uh, some people that I've met about these uh, pop paints. These are from uh, the UK that we've imported from Pop Bakery, and we use them all the time here in the store. And so I wanted to uh, just give you a little bit better um, look at how these work. Also, uh, my husband just hooked me up with this sweet tripod, and so if you did see me periscope a couple of times and you follow me, I do apologize. I was trying to figure out how it works. Uh, apparently, I don't know how to use a tripod, so, but this is totally awesome. I did talk about how I wanted an aerial view of, so that you could watch from the above, from above what I'm doing, that way you get a better look at, um, me making cake pops is usually kind of a better view so anyways like i said i'm going to be hand painting these and if you're just watching for fun great if you have any questions as i'm painting obviously i'm not looking at the screen so i'm not going to be able to answer any of your questions so if you want to just wait till uh, a little bit later or when you see me looking at the screen you can go ahead and uh, post your questions uh so anyways like i said um we're hand painting St. Louis Cardinal theme baseball cake pops today with pop paints that uh, we've got from uh, the from Pop Bakery in in the UK. So here I go. Um, I'm gonna try to fix this view as I go. Uh, so bear with me as I like I said, this is something new. Stuff that you're gonna need a paint palette. This is something new that we just I just started using. Normally we just use a little paper plate. It works perfectly fine as a paint palette as well. Because I've got my K-Pops um, in my handy dandy Casey Bakes uh, stand right here and I've already pre-dipped them in a white chocolate and so they're all smooth, they're ready to go. These are actually a chocolate flavored K-Pop is what they wanted and I've got all my brushes right here so I can pick and choose from them. I kind of tend to switch from brush to brush as I'm going. Uh, hey Justin Mart. Um, getting some St. Louis love here. Since we're from St. Louis, you know, we're all huge Cardinal fans. Uh, I did not grow up here in the U.S. and therefore baseball is not a natural sport for me. I get laughed at all the time because I ask stupid questions. Uh, so if you're gonna start chatting baseball with me, probably not, but yay, go Cards! <laughs> uh, I am a St. Louis transplant and therefore I am naturally a Cardinal fan. Um, my son plays for a, my son is eight, plays for a select baseball team. I'm so proud of the boy, um, yet I still don't know what's going on when half the time when he's playing out there. So, like I said, <laughs> bear with me. Don't talk baseball to me, but I can definitely stir the cards on. Um, I, however, do know about K-pop, so I can answer any questions you want on that. All right, here goes. Um, Got to shake these up. Uh, they do settle, so these paints definitely need a lot of shaking uh, to get it all to mix up properly before you use them. That gives you a good arm workout right here. Um, and since we use them regularly, sometimes they tend to build up in the cap right there. That's where the toothpick comes in. I just kind of clean out the top if there's any residue, and uh, so you'll need your paper towel nearby. And you just want to pour them out. Now, be careful because they're really liquid, so they just pour right out. So I start with a few drops because they also dry. Um, if you're from St. Louis and tuning in, you know that it's starting to cool off here, thank God, because it is not easy to work with cake pops when it is hot. Um, they were just melting all over me last week, and it's not fun at all. All right, so you got my cake pop. I'm going to start with um, the baseball. And I'm going to do the stitching basically with the paints. Um, and what I do is I kind of go in with the... Now the thing with this paints is you've got to kind of do a little at a time. Kind of add it in. And these are some new brushes that I acquired from Lolly Cakes by Ella. Uh, she sent me a few and totally excellent brushes so far. First time I'm using them. So thank you, Ella. Thank you for sending them to me. Um, I 
had just ordered a bunch of uh, similar paints, but made here right here in the U.S. Uh, by Poppy Paints, I think, or Pink Poppy. And Lolly Cakes by Ella carries them. And so I just ordered a few colors from her since I already have a whole set of this pop paint from the U.K. You know, I gotta share the love in the business. So I'm just, um, so as you can see, I'm just kind of going with the lines. And you notice that I am painting very slowly and just kind of adding Gotta have a steady hand though working with this, especially when you're working with baseball stitching. So you can see I'm just adding detail slowly. Um, and adding paint. Now someone asked me, said this, oh, it's too liquid, I can't work with these paints. You really have to use a fine, 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 ooh, I didn't get to put it, fine tip brush, and you gotta only use a little at a time. See how I'm touching it? And then I'm just kind of brushing it off the side. Yeah, I don't want like a goop of paint because it'll just smear all over the cake pop. So you just really want a little bit of paint and you just want to go in and and then some of these depending on what color you're using you may have to go back and darken it up um, so here we go and this is what i do you can use a toothpick recently learned about Boo Boo Sticks by, um, how sweet is that? She is a, a supplier out of Canada, and uh, she said something about Boo Boo Sticks, and I was like, what in the world is that? And apparently, cookie makers use that to clean their Boo Boos and um, work with their K-Pops. So he, um, oh, sorry, we cookies, not K-Pop, but it totally could work with for us. In the K-Pop world, we use a lot of toothpicks, so this could also work. As you can see, I've got made some lines that I'm not... I want it to be fine. I just go in with a toothpick and gently just scrape the paint off and it comes right off. Um, all right, here we go. For a little boy's birthday that we're making this for, and he's in Alabama, but I believe his family is from St. Louis, so obviously huge Cardinal fans, so we have to do that. So I've got my basic line stripe uh, upon there uh, for the baseball shape, as you can see. Um, and now I'm going to go in and do the stitching. Like I said, you just want to touch a little bit. You just want to kind of brush that off. You don't want the goop of paint because they're very, they, they are very thin. And here, I usually start on this corner, on my left corner. Hi, once upon a cake. Um... Like I said, I'm not looking at my screen, so if anybody has any questions, just wait till I'm looking up there. Uh, if you're joining us, thank you for joining us today. I'm just hand painting some baseballs and a couple with uh, the St. Louis Cardinals logo. In St. Louis, we're diehard Cardinal fans, so go Cards. And so as you can see, I'm starting the stitching. I'm just kind of going along the line over there. Uh, keeping it closed, you can make large stitching. I like the small stitching, it just makes it more realistic. So, here we go. Just keep going up and down. Just little arrows, basically, on the stitching. Um, I actually enjoy painting. Um, and I'm a big nerd when it comes to painting. Like, I mean, this little container of brushes just makes me, like, want to geek out and be so happy with myself. So hand painting cake pops is kind of natural to me. I know a lot of very talented bakers out there pipe their stitching on, so hats off to them. And if you're one of them who pipe their stitching, more power to you, because it ain't happening here. But I can definitely hand paint if I'm stitching. So you can see I kind of use my hands and hold it. How do I get them so round? Once upon a cake, uh, this is Yes, a natural born talent to roll them, but I roll them by hand um, here, and a lot of my girls here are also good. One of our requirements to work for me is our interviews are working in an interview, and part of it is I give you some cake dough and want to see how you roll. So yeah, um, I have no particular strategy to it, but one day I might do a video um, on rolling, especially because we roll so many in here. Just so, um, hi Maria's unique treats, um, they're just not as round. Um, one tip I can give you is if you, um, 
uh, rolling like uh, rolling by hand is also to knead the cake pop dough. Um, what am I using to paint? Hold on. Um, is to knead the dough, really knead the dough in your hands before rolling it and bringing it into a circle and you get a nice compact circle uh, round. Uh, what I'm using to paint is these pop paints from the UK made by Pop Bakery. Uh, that's what I'm using today. So, and you can see, you know, it's slowly, I've only painted one and it's already this couple of uh, dots right here is um, already drying out. So I'm gonna, so that's why I said don't pour out a whole bunch because they will dry up really quick on you. They, it has a high alcohol content so they will evaporate really quick. Um, so as you can see, my stitching is coming along here uh, on the side here. I'm gonna just refresh this paint with another little drop right here, mix it up. And I, if you missed the tips earlier, I said always touch a little bit of paint. Don't paint right away because it just gathers right up onto the, um, I can't really see. It gathers up and it's very, very um, watery. So it'll just spread all over your cake pop and blot all over. So you want to touch a little bit, kind of brush it off um, onto the side, and then kind of go from there. How much do I charge? Well, something like these usually starts at about $3 a piece, uh, depending on the details and what they want. Um, and, you know, again, I don't like to give too much pricing uh, advice to other bakers because it really depends on your area and um, you know we like I said we're in st. Louis Missouri this works for us it works for me to be able to uh, afford a bakery and also to uh, you know overhead as well as pay my staff so there are some of our pricing that goes up higher but it just really depends but usually when we hand paint anything it usually starts about 250 to three dollars a piece and kind of then we kind of evaluate I'm going slower just because I'm kind of talking and doing this, but typically when I hand paint these guys, they go pretty quick. And I'm also using a new brush. This new brush is from Lolly Cakes by Ella. I think a lot of people in the cake pop world know all of her. Great person. I've never met her in person, but we talk all the time. Get a lot of my molds from her. And I was, uh, if you missed earlier, I actually ordered some poppy paints. Those were made, those were made in the U.S., so... Um, here you go. So that's the um, baseball. So you can start with the, the line and then you do the stitching and it's just basically little arrows and I always start in the corner over here going down and I kind of work my way around over there. Well, thank you. Thank you for the compliment. Uh, but that's the baseball. So the next one I'm going to do here is the SDL logo, the uh, Cardinals logo. So got my second ball here. And when I do logos, I, you know, even though my, someone just asked me how my cakes are, my cake balls are so round and how beautiful they look, but, um, but even here when I'm holding them, I can feel like one side looks nicer than the other. Um, and so I'm going to pick one side that's just kind of the smoothest uh, side where I can actually put the logo onto it. So here goes, Cardinal fans, tune in. Um, I've done so many of this now, I just. Lewis and not knowing how the Cardinals logo looks like. And we will be flying off on Thursday to Alabama for a little boy's birthday. I can't say he's only four or five, but his aunt lives here. His great aunt lives here and is flying down for his birthday and bringing cake pops from St. Louis. S on there, and usually my first one is not the best, but you get the idea. You gotta add a little at a time. You can't go in there and just paint a straight line with this paint. You really have to have some patience with it. the line. 
lines. I've cut the initial outline there, and then I just want to thicken the, um, as you can see, my paint, I don't, I don't think you can tell from there, um, it is starting to uh, dry up, and so I'm just going to drop a little drop. So you want to do drops at a time, you don't want to. Now, the funny thing is these bottles is sometimes they build up with air, and when you pour it, it's like not coming out, not coming out, you're squeezing, and all of a sudden it sneezes at you, and it pops like a whole bunch out, and so you gotta watch for that. All right, there we go. I'm gonna thicken this S right here, make it more proportionate. So I usually try to get the main line in, and then I go back in, and then just kind of clean up the design by adding to the The last thing I need to add is the T or is that T? I'll get right there. I really love these brushes. So once again, Ella, if anybody's tuning in who knows Ella, tell her thank you for me. Kind of threw these into my box and I'm super psyched about them. Like I say, I'm a brush hoarder. This is only part of what our brushes are. Um, I enjoy brushes and painting and here we go. Uh, is that paint different from gel paste? Yes, it is. Um, this, this is not gel paste uh, paint. If you use gel paste, you can, but you've got to mix it in with, um, what am I think? Uh, mix it in with a little bit of alcohol vodka or almond extract or lemon extract to um, uh, water that down to be able to make it into a consistency of a paint. Uh, I am on YouTube as SDL Cake Pops, um, all you know, lowercase one word. And if you go in there, I actually have a little tutorial that I made on how to make edible paints uh, with luster dust. So if you're looking for a certain color that you don't have or you don't really want to invest in buying this if you don't paint um, that many cake pops, you can go on to our YouTube channel and check out the video I made on how to make your own um, edible paints at home. Um, and I didn't use gel paste, but it's the same concept if you're going to look at that video of mine. Uh, but I did use like luster dust and powdered food coloring in that one. Um, so like I said, uh, gel food paste is not the same. This is actually a very, uh, it's actually a basically an alcohol, alcohol based um, paint uh, on here, which is the same concept if you're making it at home. Uh, yep, so there you go. That's what I did. And that's our SDL logo right there. So go cards. Um, and if you want to watch, I'll probably paint a couple more here. Uh, does anybody got any questions since while I'm looking up and paying attention here. Um, don't see anything. If you post anything, I'll, if I'm not looking, just wait for me to look up. And another thing with these paints too is um, they tend, after a couple, like I've only done two so far, but you can't really tell. Let me try to see if I can put it up against this. Uh, it still doesn't really focus. It kind of, you can I can't really tell, but there's a little build up. Um, hi there, Cheeky. Is that Cheeky and Eeks? <laughs> um, kind of try to read all that names. But yeah, it kind of builds up a little bit on the brush, and so it kind of gets thick and clumpy, so after a while you don't get as fine a line even though you're using a fine brush. So I usually just keep a, a paper towel nearby and just brush off the... the <laughs> oh, Wendy. Hi, Wendy. <laughs> I always have a hard time reading those names. Um, so yeah, here you go. You just kind of brush it off there, um, right there. And, or you just wash it off every... Uh, every so often, so yeah, my battery's running low here, so let me see if I can finagle away, well, maybe not, <laughs> uh, to see if I can get this to charge while I'm doing this. Uh, is that, is Gabe ZP, is that uh, Gabby? Uh, she, I think she follows me on Instagram, so thanks for sharing. Okay, let me see if I can put it down this way and charge my phone at the same time. How's that? I didn't realize it was low. I don't know, does anybody else periscope? This thing's eat battery. I can barely keep my phone charged when I periscope anything. Uh, hi, Gabby. <laughs> Ah, there we go. Look, so we can still keep painting. I've got it charging here. Like I said, my husband hooked me up with this uh, tripod here, and uh, it took me a while. What kind of chocolate? I use a chocolate brand called Peter's from a um, uh, 
from a, my local suppliers, local cake supply shop that I like to support. So I use Peter's Chocolate Vitamin Case for the white. Um, as far as colors go, we use Merkins, we use Classens. Those are the two that I can get pretty easily. Every now and then I tr I'll get Wilton if I need a color that I need of it. Yep, Peter's is pretty popular up there. So I'm not going to use that one. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do another baseball if you're just joined in. Or I'm, I'm making baseballs and a couple with the SPL logo. For a little fan down in Alabama, these are going to be flying down to Alabama with his great aunt on Thursday. My customers seem to enjoy that their cake pops are made live on Periscope, so whenever I can, I do it. We're heading into a super crazy busy week with tons of weddings coming up, but I figured I may as well Periscope while I can. I'm alone here. I had my girls in earlier prepping for the week. And that's my little starter shape for the uh, baseball. And we're going to start stitching if you missed it. Uh, yes, I am doing Catch Me, so this should, be, um, this should be recorded. Also, I do save my periscopes and I post it to YouTube, so... Uh, if you follow us on YouTube, you'll find some other tutorials plus some of my Periscope videos on there. And I start with my stitching on the left down here. Um, and usually on the corner, I don't know why, but it works well for me. Just little downwards arrows, and then I work my way all the way around and move the arrows upwards. Um, yep, good to know. I'm on YouTube, and uh, I've been saving uh, most... I actually have saved all my Periscope videos, but... I only posted a few. My first few, apparently, I was not realizing they only can be periscoped one way, not the other way, and I had my phone tilted the other way, so if you had to watch it, you'd have to um, turn your phone or whatever device you're using the other way around. I was like, well, that's not very helpful. So I didn't post those to YouTube, but I did post, um, I did post all the right ones that I did. I'm getting better at this. How should I say that? I also started a raw and uncovered series with myself, um, just basically business tips, musings, and I'm putting that on YouTube as well. But like I said, I just learned about Catch Me over the weekend, did some research. It's on there, so there should be a shareable link. Um, here we go, and if you... Oh, I've got a customer. Hold on. I'll be right back here. Hi there. So this is a working bakery, which means that we've got walking customers all the time. So I am actually going to stop my broadcast here, but you can see my pro uh, progress so far. Uh, I might do a part two and see if anybody has any questions. Um, I'm not sure if anyone from Georgia. Or you guys can chat among yourselves. I can let it run and see what happens from there. <laughs> Thank you. All right, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go ahead and stop this broadcast, catch it on uh, the replay. Thank you.